Hello, 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 hello. You know that I don't usually post anything on Saturdays, but today's special, it's Halloween. So I've been thinking that it might be a good idea to surprise you with a little exercise. I've actually designed a short uh, shopping list or figures dictation exercise that has a sweet touch to it meaning that I'm going to obviously read out a series of figures, but I've added the special touch of different types of sweets. So if you don't know your sweets really well, it might be a good idea for you to check them before we move on to the exercise, all right? So just stop the video and browse a little bit on the internet to see what types of sweets there are available. Are you ready now? Well, remember that if I'm too fast, you can always slow down the video. Just go to the settings button, which is at the bottom right hand corner of the video frame and adjust the speed accordingly. I'm interested in you actually getting most of the figures right. If you're just starting to study interpreting, there's no problem in making a mistake. We all make mistakes and that's what we're here for, to learn and to have fun in the process. If you're doing consecutive interpreting, remember to grab your magic pen and your spell pad. And if you are doing simultaneous cast a magic spell on your headphones. So if you're ready, let's go. Hi, everybody. Today, loads of children all over the world will be knocking on their neighbours' doors. In the United Kingdom, there is no minimum age for trick or treating, but parents should always accompany young children. Interestingly enough, though, I have found out that in America, they have capped the age for trick or treating at 12. All of these children all over the world will be collecting an average of 200 to 300 sweets each. Some will obviously collect more than this average figure and others will collect less, but I'm sure that they're all going to have lots of fun. I thought it might be a good idea to look at the different types of sweets that will be collected and how many per type would be collected in a town with an average population of 25,000. And the results are as follows. 7,000 flying saucers, 614 white chocolate bars, 350 rum and raisin bars, 5,688 shrimps, 9,352 chocolate counters, 9,028 orange sweets, 
7,287 wine gums, 9,501 orange flavored jelly beans, 4,221 acid drops, 2,630 mini Twix, 205 banana flavored sweets. I don't think they're very popular. I wonder why. 7,733 strawberry flavoured jelly beans, 6,638 mints, 2,140 marshmallows, 3,626 mini mars, 18,099 gummy bears, and I think this is the winner. <laughs> 3,626 lollipops, 8,099 mini M&M's packs, 6,882 fizzy bottles, 5,914 toffees, 3,669 humbugs, 14,014 pieces of bubble gum, 7,594 bubble gum bottles, 14 bounty bars. These are by far the least popular. 102 starfish, 7,614 turtles, 2,527 white mice, 3,600 jelly spiders, and 2,063 sugar mice lollipops. And we can say that that is actually sweet food for thought. I hope you enjoyed the exercise. So what have you learnt today? That when you're note-taking, figures are not only the most difficult concept that you have to write down, it is also the item that is being listed jointly with that figure. So it takes us back to the fact uh, that preparation is extremely important because knowing the topic and the terminology is always going to help you. In this case, there were easy figures, but the items accompanying the figures were difficult. Nonetheless, it was slow. So, that's all for today. And um, enjoy your Halloween. <laughs>